Hey everyone, it's Christian from Racknerd, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the difference between megabits per second and megabytes per second. By the end of this video, you will have a crystal clear understanding and won't ever get these two terms confused again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. These two terms are often confused because they look similar and are used to measure data transfer speeds. However, they are actually quite different and it's important to understand that difference. Megabits per second with the lowercase b stands for megabits, capital M, lowercase b, slash s, with the lowercase b stands for megabits per second, and it is a measure of the speed at which data is transferred over a digital network. One megabit is equal to one million bits. And a bit is the smallest unit of data that can be transmitted over a network. On the other hand, capital MB slash S stands for megabytes per second. And it's a measure of the amount of data that is transferred over a digital network. A megabyte is a unit of data that is equal to eight megabits. So it's actually much larger than a megabit. So to put this simply, a megabits per second measures the speed at which data is transferred, while megabytes per second measure the amount of data that is transferred. So for example, a hosting provider may advertise a 100 megabit network port. A 100 megabit network port can accomplish about 12.5 megabytes per second of transfer speed. Let's say you're downloading something on, on WGET and you see a transfer speed of 50 capital M capital B slash S. With the capital B, that means megabytes per second, which equals roughly 500 megabits per second, or to be exact, 419 megabits per second. In the server hosting world, a common misconception for people that may be new to the world of Linux or the world of servers is that they will download something on WGET or some other download utility and see that it goes at, for example, 50 megabytes per second, and then the customer says that they're not getting fast enough speeds. Well, that's because they thought 50 megabytes per second was 50 megabits per second because of how much of a difference the lowercase and uppercase B can mean. Actually, in reality, 50 megabytes per second is quite satisfactory because as we went over, it's about 500 megabits. So in conclusion, capital M, lowercase b, forward slash s, with the lowercase b, is a measure of the data transfer speed, while capital M, capital B, forward slash s, with that capital B, is a measurement of the data size. Understanding the difference between these two terms will help you properly interpret the speed and size of the data transfers that you encounter in your daily life. Thanks for watching and we hope this video helped clear things up and remedy any confusion that you had about the difference between M lowercase b slash s and M capital B slash s. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button to see more videos like this one and helpful tips again in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.